Welcome back, everybody. We have Jordan with us. Yet again. Here we go. This is the deck that we talked about in a couple podcasts. Hotly requested. I know uh, you gave Jeff like a picture of it, and Jeff's like, no, 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 no. We got to get this one on the channel. So what right. do we got today? So we have the Megidramon that you guys talked about. Um, the anti-meta, meta Megidramon. Yeah. The good news is it's relatively inexpensive. Mm -hmm. um, I, when I did the pricing, it was 65 bucks just for the regular arts. Oh, okay. Mostly because of 1.5 stuff. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, other than that, it's a lot of bulk. So if you're, you know, and you can toy with the deck quite a bit. But we'll just get right into it. This is probably like the most expensive piece of the deck is the egg. Oh, the demis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So best egg in purple. Mm -hmm. um, one of the best eggs in the game. So luckily it's getting a reprint in September, I believe, with reprint set. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's, I mean, that egg, uh, on deletion, trigger draw one, trash one, really, really good. Cause you, pur that's purple that's things. That's what you do. Um, and then one Xiaomon, just cause the retaliation is really, really good. Um, unfortunately it's only on your turn, but yeah. typically what you're doing is you're raising out and taking out something. Yeah. Um, and it can combo with a lot of stuff, which is nice. Um, with that being said, uh, me personally, I think this is the best purple in the, uh, rookie in the entire game. One of the best rookies in the game. Oh, period. yeah. That thing came out of... BG11. Just, yeah. And it's insane. Um, inheritable. So when you play a Digimon by an effect, gain one memory, which uh, there's stuff in here that plays by effect. But also, when attacking, by deleting one of your other Digimon, um, you delete one of your opponents of the uh, unsuspended of the same level or lower. So, I mean, since I am running Magidramon, and he has the on-deletion effect, like you can combo that way and then get your check. Yeah, and then play out the the chaos Gallantmon, which is another level six in here. So, um, tales of my mill are a bit exaggerated because it's not like completely <laughs> mill. Yeah, but it does mill quite a bit, or can mill quite a bit. Um, another great rookie, Gazimon. Yeah, blocking memory. Um, it stops. It shuts down Bels. Um, when you're milling, it'll shut down Bielzimon. Oh, for the yeah, the memory gain off like the Death Slinger and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so it shuts that off from the Wizardmon. Um, oh, that's right, because they have multiple pieces now that do right. that. Right. Yeah. So you're shutting down three or four cards or two or three cards in the deck. Um, I mean, it can't get popped if you hit a Beelzemon, but again, if you have the Chaos Gallon out and it's your turn, you can just play the Gazi back out. Oh, cool. Um, so it's, you're not going to hurt too much because when we get into level fours and the options. I'm running those two. Good so point, my yeah. deck gets to do what I wanted to do, but their deck doesn't, and yeah. they hurt from that because they're either relying on... All, they're, they rely on that memory game because now they're not really running the memory setter, I right. Mako. Yeah. So they really need that memory. They um, just run the new one, right? The one that lets them... Put the gives, card on yeah. top, gain a memory, and then I think did you evolve from that or something. Yeah. Um, two of the Psychmons. Another Floodgate. Yep. Yep. Um, Stas, um, What's his name? Death X. Death X, yeah. Good against cross too. Cross, yeah. Um, uh, hunters especially. Yeah. Um, you're making them hard drop that stuff. Like they don't want to, but they need their tamers out. They need to draw. They need to do what they need to do. Yeah. But you're making them do it for four or five. Yeah. Usually Even, passing turn slows them down for a whole turn. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So there. Um. Another. I'm playing. Uh. We'll go with these guys. Three of these. Uh. The Gabumon from the starter deck. Oh. Okay. Um, it'll make a little bit more sense here in a minute, but, uh, when attacking trigger, draw one trash one, um, or yeah, draw one trash one. So I don't, uh, and I'm only running one of these on the, on deletion one, yeah. trigger draw two trash one, just because with my level fours for me, it makes more sense to just, uh, swing out. Um, because I'm playing, what do you got there? 12 rookies, three, six. I think that's 14, yeah? 3, 6, 9, 12. That's 12. 12, yeah. Yeah, so... That's a good good solid number. Yeah. Especially with moles. Like, yeah. Pretty I'm, good chance you're going to see that. Yeah, and, like, there's enough search in the deck to, like, pull those out. Because if you if you put your threes in the trash, you're not too upset because you can bring it back with a Chaos Gallant. Yeah. Um, Two of these guys. Uh, retaliation. Yep. So, uh, raise and swing. Inheritable retaliation. So, you can hit something off the fives. If they are playing like, you know, the any cro or any um, hunter stuff, they're most they only run level fives. But yeah. even then, if they're su they have something suspended like uh, War Gray, you're gonna strip some sources off of that. It's but also it's really good if they have like a suspended like they attacked with the Quartzmon, and you can just raise that out and whack into it and kill it. Exactly, really and like you're making them, especially like War Gray players, you're making them make a choice. Like, do I really want to swing into that, get it off the board, and strip sources? 
or am I going to leave it there and yeah. let him let him build a stack again? Um, and so you kind of you make your opponent play against you and the way you want to play rather than like they just get to do whatever they want. Yeah. So um, my one of my favorite cards, Ogremon. Ogre. Uh, playing two. I mean, it's a good little control. Um, mm-hmm. on when on play, trash one card of your hand, elite a level four or lower. So again. Good against uh, uh, hunters for sure. Hunters, or even if they left a level four <clears throat> um, Greymon out, because they don't have that protection yet. Yeah. So you can drop it, and then it also stalls them because once they hit, once they get their four out, and they have like a couple ties out, they're gonna hit their six like real back. quick, real quick. And yeah. so you're you need to kind of stall them out a little bit. Um, so the War Gray uh, locals, it's kind of a one off just because it was me and Tim. Mm. We we're like 50 50 playing against each other, and we always seem to make each other have bricky hands when we play against gotcha, each other. Gotcha. So it goes either way, but like, so to me, that wasn't like a good gauge of how this plays against War Gray. I like it because it pops level four, and then you have a level four on board. Like, mm. it still leaves you with a presence. You well, know? and then when I get into my level fives, it'll make sense to trash too. Mm. Um, but another level four is Devidramon. Um, you know, retaliation again, mm-hmm. um, a five drop, and when attacking, you may trash a top two. So if you have a sense of you n- might hit um, your options or like a wizard mon, it helps. Gotcha. And then another one off, we have the uh, the new Dobermon. Oh, um, the new one. Okay. Just because it's a four drop for 5K. Yeah. So if you do get an opening hand, you're not upset. But the inheritable is also retaliation. So you just go on top with something and hopefully kill something. Yeah. Uh, Sta- one of the staples, Wizard Mon, um, just because it gets trash, gain a memory. Okay, so you you got that out of the Beelzemon kind of yeah repertoire. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, because if you're milling, you're gonna well with Megijamon, each person mills. Right. So, that makes sense. Um, even if you pass it at one or two memory, and you're able to hit that in the uh, the Death Slingers. You can uh, keep get, it your turn. keep it your turn. Um, my level fives are a little all over the place, kind of, but I got the one uh, Lady Devimon. Um, I mean, it's a purple staple almost. Yeah. Um, trigger draw two, trash two on Digivolve. And heritable, when you use an option, delete one of your opponents level three. Um, so if you have the Megijamon, they have, you know, cross out. If you're playing against Cross or Hunters especially, or even uh, the Elzamon. Yeah, a lot gonna, of the Amons. Yeah. So you could pop, you know, if you have the resources, you could Death Slinger like level five or six and then also take out the uh, the uh, Amons. So you're making yeah. them mill more. But if you have Gauzy out, you're making them mill they're not mm, going to gain any memory. Right. Yeah. And so they're like you make them think too like do I really want to keep milling because it's always been a good card to pop your opponent's floodgates too. Yeah, and that's what mostly like the rookies are for. Like I said, a night one's really really good. Yeah. Um just that effect alone cuz you don't have to do it. Mhm. Uh Skull Gray um from BT6. Yeah, I love that card. Um so when um if you were trash it from hand, you could tuck it under one of your uh, Digimon yep. and so they were it, a heritable tree towel. So, like, the little combo I like to do is use it with Ogremon. Mm, that makes sense. And then also, if they were, like, if you tuck this, you could tuck it under any Digimon on board, which is nice. Yeah. So, if you have, like, just uh, just a level three sitting here, you could tuck it under the Psychmon or, like, the Gazis. But also, if you were to run into Death X, mm. it de-digivolves first and then pops level fours or lower. So, if you did tuck it under a rookie, you get a level five. Yeah. And then his one attacking is uh, you can trash card in hand to give it plus 3k DP for the turn. So it can easily become a 10k. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite cards since the uh, early days, Amaramon. Nah, I love that one. I still use that in some decks. I love that thing. It's too good. Yep. Um, so on play, delete one of your other Digimon to delete one of your opponents level 5 or lower. Um, so when you're, if you already have like a Chaos Gallon out, you're not too upset about and something else like a rookie, you're not too upset about dropping this. Um, I used to pair it with um, Omnimon Zort Defeat. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. you so you typically will want your Zort Defeat to get deleted for the most part. So like I would always do like a swing. If he doesn't die, I just drop up Chimera Mon. Top blow two it bodies. Up. Yep. Yep. Um, so the main staple, my boy here, Megidramon. There he is. The old school one, right? BT five. Yep. Yeah. So when this card came out, like. I was, like, one of the very few, I think, that understood the potential of it. Yeah. Um, I did try and play it with, like, the red. The, I think the BT1 the Gallimon? That was yeah. the only Gallimon out at the time. Yeah. But they really future-proofed it, so credit to Bandai. 
Um, cause, and it also says Gallimon in name. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's why the Chaos Gallimons are in here, and it just helps with bricking for the most part. But um, the EX2 Magidramon has Chaos Gallimon in name. Mm-hmm. So if you really wanted to, you could partner with that and like accelerate the mill. Um, and then it has the on deletion. So if you want to splash in like the old, like the purple Gazimon is really, really good because um, it's deleted by effect, gaining memory. Um, but yeah, and then also we have the new Gallimon coming out. BT13 with the Rush. Yep. Yep. And they specified, and like they also specified at level six with Gallimon and name. Yeah. So they were, they were really thinking ahead when they made this card. Yeah, they knew their Crimson Mode was coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like they're like, yeah, we need to have the window open to make more level sevens. Yeah. Um, with Gallimon. And then we have Chaos Gallimon. So the Megidramon not only doesn't mill on Digivolve, each player mills five. Mm-hmm. So like I said, if you have the Gazimon out, um, you get your memory gain. They won't on the mill. But also, if you have a, a Tamer in play, um, when this gets deleted, you can play a Chaos Gallant from Trash or Hand. Mm-hmm. So typically, um, if you have this in hand and you have this in hand, you're not going to be too upset about trashing this because then you can just bring it back if you have a Tamer. Got it. And so, but this one on Digivolve, delete one of your other Digimon and you could pop a level five or lower. And then also once per turn, when one of your other Digimon is deleted, you can play a level three or uh, from your trash, And the, but the on plays don't happen. Gotcha. So that's why, you know, I have the spread that I do. Mm. But the thing is, is like, you can swing and then if your Gazi or your Psychmon dies, just bring it right back. There you go. So it gives you another free check. Um, just because of the mill aspect, you got there a creepy one. Creepy. Um, it was crazy. Uh, I so against uh, t- hunters, I had the hard drop. This it was like the only play I had. So they didn't know what to do. They uh, hard play. They hard well like crossed. I guess two level fours, mm. searching for tamers, whatever. He basically emptied his hand. Had one card left. So I had this in hand. So turn two, I dropped creepy. Mill the four. Play a level five or lower, and I believe yeah. I played the Psychmon. Oh no, I played a uh, Ogremon. Mm. A pop one oh. of his level fours. That makes sense. And then you know he's buffed. Uh, he gets a buff from uh, I think it's if it's uh, what is it? Trash top three of your opponents. Yeah, for every ten cards in your in your trash. Oh yeah, that's how. Yeah, trash top three of opponents deck, and it gets plus three k. So if you have twenty, you're milling six, yeah. and it gets big. Yeah. Um, the last Digimon, just because, and it's not Death X, so <laughs> all you Death X haters, you can play this deck. Well, you, I mean, you kind of made that apparent when you t- said the value of the deck at the beginning. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much buy one Death X for the price of the whole deck. <laughs> <laughs> so, Only Wands work. I love that card. It's... That card's so much fun. It just makes, yeah, just, your opponents still don't know what to do sometimes. You play against newer players. Right. They don't realize that that's going to bring out two level fives. Right. Yeah. And so when did you evolve in uh, Trash Top 3 first? And then you can play two eight costs or lower black or purple Digimon. Um, you can play them. And then when attacking, you trash a level six from this source. And then uh, you delete um, unsuspe- an unsuspended 12 yeah. or less on your opponent's side. Yep. So the combo I love to do um, is my bread and butter is bring back Ogremon and Chimeramon. Yeah. So drop the Ogremon, um, trash pop something, drop Chimera on, pop the Ogre Mon, tr- delete something delete else. Delete something else, yeah. Um, and you're still left with the level five on board. You can go right into another level six. Right. Yeah. And then on the mill, too, you can get some memory back. Yep. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world paying that six at the end of the day. Um, Good to go Mimi. Oh, okay. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, so she's a uh, cheap tamer. That's yeah. the biggest thing. Um, And then when you and when a player uses an option card, gain one memory. So... um. A lot of Beelzebub players like to stay at one, two, one or two memory, mm-hmm. what around there. But if they death sling or something, you're forcing them to kind of rethink that. Yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate she's only two because she can easily get deleted. But there's really not a lot of tamer hate now. I yeah, that was kinda, last set. Yeah. yeah I yeah. think that people have kind of gotten over that. Like, well, I just gotta win the race. Yeah. Um, another one nobody plays. Sora and Mimi. <laughs> oh, okay. The the dual tamer from BT. Five, six. six. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So um, if you don't know what this does, if your opponent doesn't have a level four or lower at the start of your turn, gain two memory. Um, really, really big against um, hunters, especially because they typically have nothing on board or they yeah. just have the level five sitting there. Yeah, they just um, sit with the superior and chill. Yeah, it, yeah. and sometimes with Beelzemon, it might work because they might just also have an empty slate because they want their imons to get deleted, so they're swinging yeah. and they're trashing, so they might not have anything on board, so you get that. 
And then also, when one of your purple Digimon attacks, you may um, draw one, trash one, which is also really, really good to accelerate yeah. the deck. Yep. Uh, but, like, this kind of stalls him out a little bit. So, like, do I need to have a level three or four board? Do I care about him getting that memory? Um, and then the classic, Matt. Yep. Playing two of them. Recycle. Yep. Memory setter, recycle. Um, I got one of these in here. It was a trump sword, but I figured with the mill, I want it in hand. Yeah. Um, so, when it death cannon is trash from your deck, return it to your hand. And then delete one of your opponent's level six or lower Digimon, but if there's ten or more, um, add one to the level. So if you have ten or more in trash, at least level seven. Yep. Really um, strong card. Yeah, it gets rid of everything pretty much. And yeah. it, you know, checks in security, do the effect. Good to kill a quartz. Right. And then also like any big bodies, because um what's Blue Lords uh, and all that still run yeah. the event. So yep. um if they can check that, they're hitting for four checks. Hopefully you got that. And then we got the uh, the other kill spell, Death the Cannon. Or, oh, sorry, Rivals Barrage. Barrage yeah. Yep. yep. So, um, delete one of your opponents with the highest level. And then um, when it's trashed from your deck, delay. And then you can pop it the next turn to bring back a purple Digimon. So, essentially, you're going to be just recycling the Megidramons and the Creepymons. Um, or even the Chaos Gallant, because if you can get the combo off, get them both back mm -hmm. and somehow get to the keep your fives out, um, then you can just keep. Milling and milling and milling, and I mean, they they eight is pretty standard for level fives, I think, so it's a pretty good number to yeah. have. Um, the issue sometimes you run into is just if you, you have to be wise about tucking those, but um, I've always run into issues lately with um, deletion effects or kill spells because it's this like specifies highest DP where this just is one. And that's yeah, why I yeah. like Gaia Force is because it's, you don't have to... You can just target whatever you want. Right. Yeah. And then last card, of course, Death Slinger. Um, yeah. Crash from your deck, gain a memory, and then delete one of your opponents level four lower. Um, if you, And then add one to the level for every 10 of your trash. Um, great card. Don't need to run four. You're not milling that much. And yeah. then also if it gets checked in security and you only have like... You don't have 10 and they checked with a level five, you're kind of SOL. Yeah. Um. And I feel like, and I think Jeff said it another time too, like you don't necessarily need to run four Death Slingers mm -hmm. if you're not playing Beelzemon. Yeah. And so um, there's a lot of little wombo combos you can do. I think the biggest thing for me right now is retaliation. Yeah. Um, just because coming out of raising with a level four to take out a level seven is like the funniest thing pretty you can do to somebody. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Gazis and the Psychmons are pretty big. Um, I don't think I need to switch these. I, if I so switched anything, it'd probably be three Psychs and two of those, mm -hmm. but... You essentially want to just turbo because once Megidramon mills, he's pretty useless. Yeah. Um, and then you just pop it with the Ignite Mon, hopefully to leave something else. And like I said, the Chaos Gallant, and then bringing out the Chaos Gallant on top of that, um, because the way the triggers happen, you could pop the Megidramon, and if Ignite Mon die, uh, bring out the Chaos Gallant, and if Ignite Mon dies, you can bring back another level three. Yeah. And then you also get like the trigger draw one, trash one, so you can draw into it if you need to, but. Yeah, I mean, this is the deck I took. Um, a lot of people didn't see it coming. I, I um, yeah, I love the fact that you, you, I mean, you've been a fan of that Megidramon since BT five. Yeah, it is definitely cool to see. Like, I've seen you update it multiple, multiple times. So, it's like, it's anti meta just because it is like very. It it does have that mill aspect, right. but it's not like you're going full mill with the Gilmon and stuff like that. Because right. if you go full that way, then you're only adapting towards one part, one corner of the meta. I well, think this is really cool because it really covers multiple aspects and multiple decks that you're going against. Like you have counters to the Hunters, you have counters to Beelzemon, you have counters to just big bodies like Quartzmon. Like it's very anti everything. It's not just geared towards, well, I need a deck that's going to beat just Beelzemon. It does a lot more than just that. So it's really cool to see that. All right, sometimes you need to be patient, um, especially if you're playing like Insects or Imperial because they're going to tap everything down and swing. Yeah. But also with the Retaliation, they have to rethink that. Mm -hmm. Like, do I really want that memory in the draw or whatever, or am I just going to hit stack and face getting killed? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It's, it makes your opponent think and rethink everything, and like they can get pretty frazzled pretty easily. I had two opponents get really frazzled yeah. um, just playing against this deck. And so, yeah, Megidramon, man, he's been my boy since he came out. I've... Uh, you know, that was the meta with, like, Lord Knight and Shoutmon and Imperial, mm -hmm. and I was still running him, doing pretty pretty good. So that's when I was able to play, like, Earthshaker and Hell's mm -hmm. Gate when they were still pretty relevant. So, yeah. I mean, I'll probably yeah. be sticking with Megidramon and with the new 
BT13. I can't wait yeah. to see what you build with that. Because, we'll I mean, a... it's red green, and luckily Magidramon can go into red. Oh, you're talking about Medieval Gallant? Yeah. In EX4. Six. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Level yeah, 6. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So the red green one, um, and it comes out of security, I believe. It has a security yeah. effect. Comes out of security, lands, and then goes back to your hand afterwards. Yeah. 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 It's a nutty card. It's crazy. Yeah. So I'll probably have a deck for that, especially. Yeah. But yeah, this is it. I mean, obviously, you can switch up the ratio, see what works best for you. Um, like I said, purple has probably the most diverse spread of cards, which is nice. Yeah. And so I've, I've been playing purple since the start, pretty much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let That's us know it. what you think. Um, see how you try it out. See what, uh, if any other techs work for you guys. But yeah. yeah. So here let it us is. know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again. I'm sure awesome. you got more cool stuff coming for us. We'll see you next time. Thanks.